guys what's up it's bella welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new in today's video we did a full face using black owned um makeup products from black owned beauty brands i am so excited i was able to gather all my products for today's video um all the money all the adsense if you guys shop through the links down below in the description box all of that will be donated towards the naacp so if you guys do shop through those links and if you guys do end up watching the ads in this video just know it is 100 percent fully being donated and i will show receipts as well so yeah that's really exciting i'm really happy i'm able to do that i've donated already but i'm excited to, i'm able to do it even more and i also want to let you guys know that i'm not doing this video for the trend i'm simply doing it for awareness and to spread awareness and i'm doing it later because I want to let you guys know it may not you know still be all over everybody's social media like it was in June but it's still a problem to this day and it's July and it's still like everything is still happening so I want you guys to know like it's a wake-up call if you guys have fallen back into the oh it's, it was just only a June thing like no this is a worldwide thing every single day every hour of the day and it needs to be handled I talk about this a little bit more in the video but I think it's really cool how um, we're able to make mistakes and grow from them and I think that if you're watching creators that aren't willing to educate themselves after they've made those mistakes and they're not making a full-on change then I think that you need to kind of take a look at who you follow and who you watch and who you're giving your time to so I love you guys so much I'm doing this video for all of my people of color um, I love you so much and I stand with you I am with you um, I think a quote I've been seeing around a lot is I may not understand but I stand with you um, and that's just how I feel so I love you guys so much you guys mean the world to me I'm excited to be doing this video and if you aren't a person of color and you need to be kind of I guess I would say enlightened and educated on this subject then I will leave links down below for articles for you guys to read and stuff like that because if you can't educate yourself and enlighten yourself then you're not growing as a human and I believe that you should always be educating yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video if you're new subscribe click the bell like this video and follow my social medias which are up there. I love you guys so much and let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to show you guys how I got this makeup look so let's go i swear having a light on me makes me look 10 times worse without makeup like i promise you when i don't have this annoying light on me my skin is like clear and it's one skin tone and like i don't have redness under my eyes this thing brings out the worst in people but it makes us look good with makeup on so i guess that's the point okay i am so excited i have all of the products i'm going to be using in front of me and i'm just so excited for this video so we're first going to be doing our eyes and i have a really exciting product for my eyeshadow i know i love me some pat mcgrath so i have two of her palettes the first one is just going to be her divine rose one palette and it looks like this i'm going to be using this as well as the Divine Rose 2. Um, I don't necessarily want like an all pink look because I have a lot to do today and I have a lot of TikToks to make with outfits. And I have to have sort of like neutral eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use like gold and like brown. But I'm definitely gonna be mixing two of those palettes. I have so much stuff. Let's go and get started. So we're gonna do the eyes first, like I said. So I've tried the Fenty eyeshadow primer and I didn't like it. I thought it was too drying on my eyes for some reason. I'm gonna have to retry it because maybe I'll like it then. Um, because sometimes you just have to try things like more than once. But I'm gonna use a different one. This one is not from a black owned beauty brand, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna use it off camera because I don't have anything else and I want to make sure my eyeshadow lasts all day. I'm not even gonna talk about it because I don't even wanna give it any sort of attention because this video is specifically to give attention and all attention, everything, to black owned beauty brands who deserve all the hype. So I'm gonna go into the Divine Rose 2 palette and go into this shade up here. Literally like the tiniest bit, barely even see it on the brush because Pat McGrath loves to go crazy with her eyeshadows and I don't want it to be too pink. I just want like a base for the transition, so we're just going to lightly just work this in the crease. I've always found that this shade, it looks more pink in the pan, but if you add just a tiny bit, it's like a perfect neutral to any sort of eye look, so that's why I like it. Now I'm going into the first edition of the palette and going into this brown the same brush and putting this on the outer corner. Okay, so there we have it so far, super nice and natural, just like I wanted. And now I wanna go in with like a really pretty gold color. I'm kind of debating which one I wanna go with. 
I feel like this one is like too orange and bronzy. That one's in the second edition of the palette. And this one's in the first edition of the palette and it just like seems more like light and like a nice white gold instead of a yellow gold. So there's the comparisons. I think I'm gonna go with the top one. And I am just gonna, I think, just use my finger for this. And just tap this on my eyelid. So gorgeous and just so natural but like elegant. If you guys are looking for a really good eyeshadow palette, I tend to recommend Pat McGrath. I know she can be on the pricier side, but you know, it's worth it. It's an investment, but it's 100% worth it. And she's a black owned beauty brand, so I can't really get any better than that. I'm gonna finish her under eyes a little bit later once we have like concealer and stuff on. But for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. I actually really do like this stuff. I think it's really good. I love the wand and I like really love the packaging too. Like it's just such a good wand and I've been using it for a few months ever since it came out. So I'm a fan. I'm gonna have to get a new one soon because it's gonna just go bad. But so far so good. I really do like this. I really do love the Pat McGrath one as well, but I just don't have any more left of the fetish eyes but that one's really good too if you guys have any other mascara recommendations or just makeup in general from black owned beauty brands let me know down below because i am ready to explore even more than i already have and educate myself um i think that's like one thing about this like community that people need to understand is yes people make mistakes in the past but if a creator is willing to educate themselves it shows that they are growing and they have grown so i'm 100 willing to educate myself on every subject i can um and just kind of like become a lot more like smart and wise in those certain areas. I encourage you all to strive to be the best version of yourself that you could ever be. So dive into those books and really take, take time for you and you know building your knowledge. Another little encouraging note is your past does not define you. We all grow, we all mature, we all make mistakes and some people are just brought out into the light with everything going on in the world. Um, and so I don't know, I just encourage you guys to not do cancel culture. I encourage you to really like look into somebody and forgive them um, because we all make mistakes and that's normal. Like that's literally so normal to make mistakes. We're human, we're not perfect. Okay, so the eyes are done for now. My mascara is on and we've got a little neutral, natural eyeshadow look going on. The first foundation, the only shade that actually matches me right now is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish in the shade Medium 18. I'm so tan right now. Like I think this is the tannest I've ever been. Not because self tanning or anything like that. I've literally just been in the sun. I'm Middle Eastern. I'm not even like necessarily American and um, I've just been in the sun so much and I have that like olive skin, you know, tone so I get super dark so I'm dark right now and we've got to match it all around. <laughs> I've used this foundation for so long and I'm obsessed with it so I'm just going to squirt a little on the back of my hand and then kind of like maneuver it around on my face. I know it might look a little dark but it's going to match my actual body. My face never gets as dark as my body because I wear so much sunscreen on my face. I've tried the Fenty foundations and I like the hydrating one. I just never repurchased it in my color once I got really dark. So I'm definitely going to have to retry that but right now this Pat McGrath one is just like my daily go-to foundation. Like it's, it's thin, it's amazing, it looks like skin and it's like an enjoyable application. Okay, so for concealer, I have the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer as well. I have two shades, I have a darker one and a lighter one. I think I'm gonna have to go in with this one, um, even though it really doesn't look that much darker because like I said, I'm tan, I'm really dark right now and I need some makeup to match my skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with LM14 under my eyes, just a little to elongate them and brighten. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out and spread it around. So I have my concealer blended out and before we go into powder, I wanna go into like a cream bronzer. I did a full and in-depth review on the new Fenty Beauty cream products, but this is in the shade Macchiato. I'm gonna use the Fenty brush as well. I'm just gonna go in here and just lightly define and contour a little bit. Nothing crazy, cause I'm gonna go over it with a like powder bronzer, but just something a little. This is already turning out so good. I'm obsessed. Wow. And while we're at it, we're going to go in with some cream blush. This is in the shade Petal Poppin from Fenty. Taking a little because this stuff is so pigmented. And we're going to take this on my cheekbones. Okay, so now that we have our creams on, we're going to go in with a product I've never used before. This is the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Cassava, which is the yellow color setting powder. I have a few products from Beauty Bakery that I actually ordered for this video and I'm excited to try them out. So this is like, like I said, one of them that I've never tried and it looks really interesting. So we're going to 
bake our face with this. I've always heard really good things about Beauty Bakery, like even before this whole um, terrible thing has been happening around the world. Like before that, they were always in the spotlight and I've always wanted to try them, but I just never did. And I, I love how like this whole situation is kind of enlightening people and getting people into different brands. And I think that could be like a, a possible like positive of the situation. Now we're just gonna tap in here, take a little bit off. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Um, it's always like fun trying new products, so. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my under eye. I'm gonna go back, bake it like I normally would. It's not as yellow as I thought, which I, I actually like really like because my concealer, since it's darker, it's a little bit more on the yellow side for like correcting. So I'm glad this wasn't like as dark and like as yellow. I'm gonna take a little bit that's in the cap and just kind of go around and just set my face a little because it's hot where I live. I'm barely taking any, I'm not taking a lot. I normally bake for like a minute or so, so I'm just gonna leave it on for like a few more seconds and then we're gonna swipe it off. I like the setting powder on my actual face. It really did like blur out my pores and kind of just like make everything look like super like ethereal and like angel-like. So, so far the powder on my actual face is really nice, like whoa. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just kind of tap it in and like also kind of sweep it away at the same time. My under eyes look so seamless. Okay, my under eyes look like so bright and like smooth, oh my gosh. That's definitely gonna be my new setting powder for sure. Like my new baking powder, my new face powder, everything. You know, I'm obsessed with the packaging too. Like I love the whole aesthetic of Beauty Bakery. I think it's so cool and so fun. I'm gonna go in with the brown and the first rose palette and take this on my lower lash line. Gonna go in with some mascara on the lower lash line. To just make my face a little bit more bronze, I'm gonna go in with Islanding from Fenty Beauty. It's the powder bronzer. I'm just gonna kind of go over what we had done with the cream, but just emphasize that, like I said, a little bit more. Brianna literally slayed every single product in her makeup line. I'm actually kind of like shook with how good everything has turned out. I am a highlight lover, so this is the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. I also ordered this, and I am so insanely excited to use this. So we've got four highlighters in here. You have like this pretty like kind of orange clementine color, darker one for darker skin tones, and then we've got like a nice like lavender kind of one. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. It might be like a little too ashy for my skin tone because like sometimes like lighter colors just like don't show up as well. But I think I'm definitely gonna be mixing like this color and this color together. I am so excited to use this. I've always heard really good things on this palette. So I'm first gonna go in with Be Sweet and then a little bit of spoiler alert and just kind of put this on this like small detail brush and put this on my nose and like the inner corner and my brow bone. Start here on the nose. What a beautiful highlight. I'm gonna dip into these two down here for my face, mainly like Be Sweet because it's a little bit like more like golden, but I'm gonna mix a little bit of both. And we're just going to highlight away. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous highlight, oh my gosh. I'm gonna dream about that, like literally. Stunning. For setting spray, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty setting spray. And for lips, I also picked up a lip gloss from Beauty Bakery. This is in the shade, let's see if it says it on here. Cakey Lip Whip, I think that's the shade. So we're gonna put this on my lips because we need a little bit of color. I love this packaging, I'm obsessed with like that blue. It's like. Tiffany, so pretty. Gonna go on top. The smell and the taste is like vanilla. That's a great surprise because I had no clue about that. It added a really nice, like kind of washed out lighter look to my lip and made them really glossy and like super like dimensional. So I really like that. And it's not like sticky or like oily. Really nice consistency. Okay guys, here is the full face using Black Own Beauty products. Oh my gosh. I think it turned out so good. I think this is like one of my favorite looks ever. I'm not even like just saying that. I really do think like this is definitely one of my favorite makeup looks. Everything came together so well and all looks like super nice and natural. Like a, a really good like easy glam. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all these products down below. If you guys do shop through my links, all of the money made through those links will be donated to the NAACP organization. And like I said, all the money um, made from this video and AdSense will also be donated towards the NAACP. So if you guys do shop through the links, just know it is going to the NAACP, which is very exciting. I'm excited to donate even more than I have. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay happy. Stay positive in this crazy world and lean on God. And I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.